Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please do not forget to hit the like button it helps the video a lot so let's get started and as usual we'll start with the Dixie we are on the weekly time frame and as you see we've got um, pretty uh, bearish week uh, last week we saw the dollar pushing to the downside so um, uh, the previous week uh, we've been talking about that uh, we had a nice break we were looking for potential retest and maybe continuation to, toward 92 but what happened was the market did open here and uh, broke this uh, previously uh, broken resistance that we were expecting to be potential support for a uh, one more bounce to the upside because my expectation was to retest 92 to then give us the continuation to the downside that did not happen the market uh, opened and uh, start um, pushing to the downside after a little bit of a bounce higher and i was like now could be the time that we start seeing higher lows and continuation but we never got a higher low what happened was we got a very strong bearish engulfing candle on the four hour time frame then a break to the downside and also we broke the trend line and the market kept pushing lower so um this was uh, signaling that uh, we have uh, uh, the, the the dollar boards had uh, big problems and then the market stuck down here and we were looking for a potential reversal higher we've got that little bit of a reversal to the upside uh, on uh, uh, here we got the break we've got a higher low and there was an attempt to uh, continue higher but friday after new york session was totally collapsed and the market went back down inside this little range so based on that it seems like we might get prepared for a bit more bearishness but all in all uh, keep an eye on this level because i see this as one leg this is here a major high, uh, higher low so as far as this higher low is holding the bulls might have a little bit of a chance but guys I'm not even though I'm very uh, bullish the dollar most of the time after this here now after the break of the trend line and if this get uh, broken we will see a continuation toward 88.50 which is the the main area that i mentioned for a while that we never we never got that retest after this break here i was expecting the dollar to bounce at that level instead but the bounce started much earlier so a little bit of a worrying here for the bears since we had this uh, bearish engulfing on the weekly uh, moving further toward gold uh, gold also last week been uh, uh, most of the time uh, sideways for a couple of weeks now and we've been looking at this range and i've been telling you guys keep playing this range until we had a break out of it so last week we've got um, a nice uh, uh, bounce to the downside then was a retest and we were looking for one more leg to the downside and we kept waiting for that to happen and what happened was uh, this break here and on friday we were looking for a potential retest to look for continuation but the market kept pushing to the downside after this nice head and shoulder pattern here we've got on this uh, trend line the market kept pushing lower and we never had the real uh, chance to um, take an entry here and uh, we've got uh, this strong bounce to the upside but it was not enough so my kill zone is still here at this area guys 
this is the level that I will watch uh, next week for uh, potential bearish evidence. So we will see if we're going to get some bearish evidence here, some double tops or something like that to look for uh, that continuation toward this area. And the main reason I'm talking about that is this break below this structure here. So it is a broken structure. The market went back below all these levels here as well. So that's why I'm looking for continuation on gold and the entry area is is at around this level as shown in the chart oil still bullish so we've been talking about about oil um, since um, very long time now that we should keep being bullish and we uh, the last week we had this uh, breakout and the previous week we had uh, this breakout so looking left there is no structure on the way here until 65 now 60 could be a, a good psychological level and uh, if we go down to the daily time frame and um, we we check a little bit what's going on at around 60 we do have this here we do have a little bit of a trouble on the way but i mean 60 could give us a little bit of a correction to the downside but in my opinion 65 is the key structure that the market will target uh, as from now so looking at the lower time frame now this previous high gonna be a level of interest no matter what because this was the last uh, pre uh, the previous high that got broken and we will start look for uh, corrections back down the first level will be at around this area second the major structure is of course down here at this level if that market give you such a deep correction then you might look for a bounce from this area so those are the levels to watch for oil still bullish and you should be buying the dips euro usd so i was looking for this market to give me a continuation to the downside but again we were looking at one leg correction another leg we were looking for some kind of a retest and continuation but the market got stuck here and on friday uh, last friday we've got this break of the neckline i took the short uh, around this area here or near this um, double top scenario here and uh, when i saw the break i was i was pretty confident after these two uh, couple of candles that we might see a retest toward back toward this area you know i was looking for that but as you saw on friday we've got a strong reversal back inside back above this uh, support level uh, which is not so good for the bears here uh, because uh, the main idea was retest continuation not go back inside and above the support so this is a little bit worrying now one could say this could uh, open next uh, um, next monday and uh, keep pushing down again yeah since the last move was to the downside but keep in mind we have now a broken structure so this short term lower lows and lower highs is now broken previous high is broken and we've got already a retest and a little bit of a bounce as you see here a little bit of a bounce so i'm I'm a little bit cautious here now since we've holding back this support uh, that this market might give us a little bit of a continuation and any break above this previous high forget anything about shorting the euro and keep following the trend which is right now to the upside so after this if this got taken out next market objective will be this high and if that also broken we're looking for further upside okay so these are the levels to watch on the euro any break above this high it is a continuation to the upside failure up there might give us one rotation back toward this we may establish some kind of range like this here in this area if there is no break to the upside sterling also uh, ended the week strongly uh, if we look at the weekly time frame we know that we had a break above these previous highs. We uh, expected this to potentially act as resistant 
as uh, and uh, that didn't work and we've got a break to the upside the market is a bullish market and with a weekly break and close above this previous high and if we check the, the chart looking left there is nothing on the way here to uh, act resistance until the top here at around uh, 1.45 area so since there is nothing on the way and we have a break to the upside we should be looking for potential continuation i was looking for after this break i was looking for like at least a retest toward this area to give me an entry and go long but as you saw friday we've got we started the move started to the downside but it never continued to this we've got a very strong push to the upside uh, quickly after the break of this neckline it was clear that this market would not stop until the top and that was really what happened so from here next week you need to see this market breaking above this high this high need to be break broken otherwise we might still get that one leg to the downside to then start looking for bullish move but before that you have this potential support as well so Keep an eye on this uh, this range here we might end up uh, making some kind of a consolidation here before the next move to the upside so this something like this and then a continuation all in all it is a bullish market look to buy those dips usd uh, jappy also checking the daily time frame here we had impulse correction yet an extended move if you remember we took a short here uh, we've been talking about this um, A, B, C, D scenario with an extension uh, 1618 where I shorted this market up here. So I told you guys we're going to short this market at 1618 monthly R1 200 moving average previous structure. The trade went like a charm because we, we reached targets here uh, as I mentioned 38.2. Fibonacci retracement would be my target one and 618 would be my target two. Now, it did reach target one, but target two still not reached. You should be moving your stop loss to break even by now and looking for maybe next move to the downside. As if we check the lower time frame, like the four hour, we've got this double uh, top broken neckline retest maybe continuation next week i will keep an eye on this because we had a little bit of a rejection here and i still think we might get target to before the next bounce to the upside so short term especially if you see that uh, this uh, little trend line here got broken to the downside you should be looking for a continuation toward uh, 104.15 as a potential bearish target before some kind of a bounce to the upside on USD Jappy. USD Chief also we were looking for a potential uh, continuation after the breakout here we had a nice breakout a very strong momentum to the upside but in the same day the market pushed back below resistance yeah that's not good that never good because we had a market that started a trend with a higher a high here, higher low, another higher high. We were looking for a retest continuation. We knew that we're going to get a rejection here because we had monthly or two. We had previously broken structure. It is a major bearish trend. So we were looking for this for potential bounce back down and then to start some a bullish momentum to the upside it tried to start that bullish momentum but as you see it failed back so for now usd chief as far as this is holding as support we might get this uh, potential bounce to the upside but as soon as broken look for continuation to the downside first target here second target down here so it is a little bit of a wait and see on this one this support here is very important uh, for now to hold if the bulls are really gonna push the market higher they need to hold it otherwise we will keep pushing to the downside here usd cad was the same scenario started a nice bounce to the upside let's go to the daily to show you what been going on here so uh, we had impulse higher low continuation one could think that we might see a retest and continuation to the upside but 
the market did break lower and then continued and on friday there was this uh, breakout continuation but they fade at the 200 moving average at monthly pivot here as you see and the retest of the previously broken structure and we've got a very strong push to the downside so it is not looking good for the bulls here and we might see continuation to the downside keep an eyes on these levels here if broken this will continue lower guys um, it is clear that this momentum was a very strong momentum to the downside very big candle so it's gonna be very interesting to see what will happen back here at this support area we have this level and then we start thinking about next target down here and maybe further more downside so for next week any failure to make new highs it is a potential sell on uh, usd cat Aussie USD also still uh, bullish so it kept pushing to the upside and there is nothing to stop it until we tag these previous highs here so I'm looking for potential continuation here keep an eye on uh, this uh, support here we may end up ranging here a little bit before uh, some kind of a breakout happens so keep an eye on the bottom here each time we test, test these lows they could be a reason to look for a potential continuation. And the main reason I'm saying that is the momentum here. Strong momentum, very good uh, momentum to the upside. And I think they will not stop here and uh, at least tag previous highs. Now, when and if they do that, we start looking to see if there is any weakness or if they're going to potentially break and continue higher. Checking the weekly time frame, we see that very strong impulse this might be our only correction before the next leg to the upside to start happening and that target would be toward this area so the long-term target is this double top up here so as i said if this would be our only correction and that was not um like a couple of hours we're talking one two three four weeks of a correction and then a breakout uh, a break above previous week's uh, high this could signal the continuation now especially if they break above previous high here new zealand usd same scenario here we've got one bearish week and then the markets start pushing higher now this one has it, it is does not have the same momentum yet but um, as you see we keep after this bounce here we start having higher lows higher lows yet another higher low so the lows are getting higher there is a feeling of a build pressure to push to the upside last week when we saw this break we we were thinking is it the time that we might see a retest and one more leg before any bounce higher but that was again a strong bullish engulfing candle going back above uh, the uh, support and resistance here and since that is the case this is now a little bit worrying for uh, new zealand usd bears because you have this strong push back up a v-shaped formation here and if this level holds again we might see a continuation and if that happened you need to keep an eye on this pre these previous highs those might give you a little bit of trouble if you are long you should be managing your position if the market reach those levels next week <coughs> to see if they gonna break above or not if they break above then we are looking for continuation now keep in mind that Aussie may be leading this um, now so if Aussie break first look for this also to do the same uh, continuation now if we got total failure here and no break above it I think back down toward previous lows here is the first uh, market um, objective and if that would be broken next would be down here so this market is still in uh, some kind of a range but if we check lately what been going on we see that higher lows yeah 
So higher low here, another higher low here, and yet another higher low. So the market is not pushing down all the way anymore. So that's why I'm thinking this is a little bit worrying for the bears because now you're getting higher lows each time, higher low, higher low, and then most of the time when this start happen, you get a break to the upside. So um, yeah, guys, that was it for this week. Thanks a lot. Give it a like if you like the video and see you next week. Bye-bye.